so much that you are here. It's um, yeah, a big pleasure for me that you are interested um, and that um, you invite me, give me the visibility to show the film. It's very the first uh, Asian uh, premiere. Oh. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Francesca Bertin. I'm based in Hamburg, Germany. I come from Italy and uh, I had the pleasure to present today my latest film, Tara. It was shot in Taranto in South Ita Italy. It's a feature film I um, directed together with Volker Sattel. And um, yeah, it has today its uh, Asian premiere. <laughs> The film Tara takes its name from the river uh, Tara um, that is um, like taken from the name of the city Taranto and its mythological history. Um, it's, uh, it describes uh, the um, flow of the river uh, from a geographical point of view but also historically, also socially, also um, anthropologically way because um, it starts from the river but it opens up to the old city and its inhabitants. So the film follow different protagonists but uh, it's not based on just the protagonist itself but um, the protagonist, the real protagonist, the river and the landscape. So we search uh, around the city, we circumnavigate the, the city, the river, the factory um, with the intention to not um, put in on, a flashlight, on the flashlight uh, the dramatic situation of the city and the challenges to live next to a factory that polluted uh, the whole ecosystem but um, to open up uh, a reflection about uh, what does it mean to live next to it uh, for such a long time and what does it mean to survive uh, um, with all problems that arise from it uh, and also to have hope to, to the future. So um, we didn't want to have an act activist approach. Uh, we didn't want to show what is already known because the people are fighting but um, but we wanted to to bring the attention back to the daily life uh, to um, 
yeah, to the trust that people has, to the care that people have to their own place, the place they live. So, uh, what does it mean to um, to go every day to a riverbed and clean it up and um, and believe also that staying there and swim in is cold water maybe can be a relief, uh, can be a wellness uh, um, for your body, but even more for your soul. As a documentary filmmaker, I'm interested to see what is around me, to understand it, uh, maybe even better through the um, presence of a camera and sound and a recorder. So um, it's a possibility to get known to people living in a place m more rather than create a product uh, that to put online or to sell it. Uh, um, so I. I really like the documentary approach because it's, um, it gives importance to, to the reality. It's not just a made-up story, um, but still, um, like a film is still a fictionalized uh, representation of what is around us. Uh, and um, I think it's, it's, I see it for me as a pleasure and a honor to have this position of tell us more story um, that can make other people thinking or feeling or remembering something from their past. I came to Jakarta. it was for the first time and of course um, I was overwhelmed by the city, by its uh, attractive but um, I'm already knowing to have here a task um, to exchange with the people here that make me happy from the beginning. Like when first I come here on Friday and I saw already this place, uh, this make me full of joy because I had the feeling that there is a community really working and making this place very beautiful. Um, and alive, uh, yeah, this is very, this I sense already on Friday when it was empty and um, today uh, the feeling that uh, I could uh, bring something from where I come from, from my practice uh, and um, this was um, a possibility to, to talk with people here and, um, and I really appreciate the openness uh, from the, the people being here that watch the film and ask questions. And I've, I found that we had a lot of in common and this, uh, yeah, I'm very thankful for this experience. Thank you, Miska. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Come to Hamburg. <laughs>